Okay, I'm over at, at the bus today. We went away and got a couple things. Uh, I'm walking down. I'm not driving because the last time I drove down here, it was still a little damp. Right there's some deer tracks, guys. Right in their, right in their yard. And way you tell that's a deer track, It's a two uh, bongs or whatever sticking out. That's what it looks like to me. But I don't know what a deer would be doing up in there. But anyway, we're going to go down and try to change this wick for the kerosene heater. Well, anyway, like I was saying, uh, the other day when I came down, I thought it was still frozen, it's a little soft, and I don't want to tear the yard up. I'm not one of them people. When you're working on your bus and you don't have nowhere to put it, or whatever, you don't mess someone else's property up just because you want to work on your bus. So, that's the way I look at it. All right, it's actually not too bad in here. So this is what we're gonna try to change. I bought the wicks at Walmart. This is the big one, this is the little one. Try to put it in there so. We're going to see if I can figure it out or not. I watched a couple videos of you guys is doing it on YouTube. But just because watching a video don't mean you can do it. So, alright. We're going to find out. Okay, I got it apart. I took out one screw there, one there, and one in the back. And just pulled on the front. I didn't tear it all apart. A lot of people are tearing these all apart. I pulled on the front so it's not bent it. So it just passed this stuff and came right out. Now you can see it's still got uh, kerosene in it. Now, a lot of people are taking off this too. That's uh, right there is the igniter. That's what you can change, I guess. Uh, let's see. The night, this definitely got to come off. Because not, then the wires, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a, a whole pieces apart. Okay, on my, on mine, I had one through here, and this actually just slid into the igniter. So... You could have just undid the igniter and took the whole thing off, the way it looks. Uh, this, this is your reset to turn it on and off. That's just how high it goes. See it? Alright. Uh... Next, next we got to take off these four little screws here. And a lot of people were using wrenches or whatever, pliers. Let's see it. Yep. So, I don't know if I can get it with a screwdriver or not. Nah. I'm going to have to get some type of, uh, I'll get pliers or whatever. Yeah, it's never been changed, probably. Or, the person that did it last made them too tight. So, we'll go ahead and get that apart and see. Now, they came off really, really easy. But, you're going to have a hard time getting your pliers in here. So, you might be able to... I'm going to try to show you a little trick. See if I can do it. Put this in there. I'm going to press against this housing. Not hard. Just to see if I can loosen it.
and it's not working. So what you got to do is, and that ain't. I have another idea. What I'm going to do, this will work. I'm going to take the screwdriver in like this, tap on it and loose it up. So give me one second. And I tried it this way, it didn't work, so I put it this way and tapped on it with my palm. Just tapped on it lightly. And it, and it got it free. These don't have to be really, really tight the way it looks, you guys were saying. Well, no one ever actually said about torque spec. I would say about 5 foot pounds. Tighten up where you can tighten with your fingers. That's roughly about five. Unless you're... And this should just pop right up. Gently. Yep, it is. It's coming right up. Uh, I'm just letting it set a second. Because... I'll get something to put under it. Because if not, we're going to have a, a real bad smell in here. I don't care about a little of a smell, but you don't want tons. That wick filter is full of kerosene. I would recommend, if you're doing this, to burn it all the way down, but I didn't. I'm going to put it on a plastic bag, and then it just pops off. As you can see, it comes out like that, so. Then you just got to put it back together. All right, let me do that and I'll get back with you. Now this wick looks like it's okay, but it's burnt real bad up there. I don't know. I'm, since I got a new one, I'm going to just change it. I thought it was a bad wick, but it might not have been. Okay, I got it just a hair above. And I think it was, I think it was longer. I don't know, but... And they might have had it in wrong too. Maybe that was a reason. Because it looked like a, it was a good wick. But what you got to do is. Is press against this. It's got little tabs in there. Just don't press real hard. And stick yourself or anything. So. And then it goes in there. And that goes on top of that. So. That's what we're going to try to do next. Okay. I had it though. I had it about on A and it wasn't coming up, so I put it on C. And it's coming up. Make sure it's locked. So. And I cranked this. I turned this so it had pressure on it. Then put it into the slot that was in there. It's working good now. You want to run it? I, if it was me, I'd run it through the cycles like I just did before you put it back together. You don't want to put it together and then find out that it doesn't work. And I would tighten these if I was you. I would recommend to tighten these like a, like a car. This this side, don't tighten this side and that side, because you don't want, it, there's probably enough play in there, but it could jam up. So, let me finish putting it together. Another tip, I watched uh, uh, someone last night, and they had this too tight or whatever. You want to make sure, at, when you're at this spot, I got them all snugged. You want to make sure everything's working there, which it is. 
that, but you also want to make sure that your push it's not sticking or anything your your niter because uh i don't and it, it was on one of these models i don't know how they did it but it just got jammed up a little bit but so i'm gonna go ahead and uh see if i can clean this up a little bit then we'll go from there all i'm using is dollar dollar tree window cleaner just to wipe it off you don't want to use uh kerosene or anything like that because it it starts smelting worse but that's what we're gonna try see what it looks like and something else uh a lot of people are probably gonna do do not spray it first you can get a lot of this off without spraying it because you spray it it's gonna stick even worse look at this I'm just taking this rag and if you can't get down in that spot take your screwdriver whatever you got not hard just push a little and look at that now I got this this and actually right here from an auction for two bucks I think this one was a two dollar one You want to try not to get too much in here. It does have a screen, it looks like, or a filter, it might. But if you can, try to keep away from that. And you can see how clean it's coming just by me wiping on it. I probably will. Uh, nah, I ain't going to do it. I was going to change it in night, or ain't no sense. I, but look how clean this is. Now I can take the spray. Somewhat. It's not spraying very good. I don't know if I had it on or off. But you got to figure it. There it is. Dollar, dollar Tree. So. Now I'm going to soak it down pretty good what I can and we're gonna see how clean it comes all right let me work on this and I'll show you all right we got it pretty well cleaned up uh, last thing to do is to actually uh, put that back on now it's it's gonna be a little tricky because I didn't take everything off so we're just gonna put her back on and see what we do okay the hardest part I had this uh, ha has a piece where it screws in here that was sticking out and the back was sticking out. Now I haven't put any screws in it and I'd recommend not putting any screws in it yet. What I'd recommend is grab your knob, which this knob is broke. But as long as it works. Make sure it's st everything's still functional like it should. then go and put your screws in now you can now this is dented here i don't know how it got dented but i really don't care but i can take and take this this out and push that back up but i really don't bother me and you could probably take all this apart here is screw here one here one there and probably take that top off and take all these pieces panels apart and it'd be easier to actually take off but all i did is pulled out on this a little bit so it missed the parts and now we're gonna see if we can get this i don't know what this contraption is But it was on there and I'm putting it back on there. Anybody knows what that is, let me know. So now you notice that the the the, uh, the flame catcher or whatever you want to call it, I didn't put that back on. That just comes off. You see it? 
that will actually saw it all around. Now, the test to see if it lifts. It is lifting, so. We'll crank this up. And there's kerosene in there. Uh, back right there is the canister. I went to the Dollar Store or Dollar Tree and bought a cheap igniter. Give me one second. All right, I got the cheap igniter uh, on done here, and all I'm gonna do is a. Uh, See if it works. Maybe. Oh, it is a little lighter. Yeah, it's working, so. Let me go ahead and light it and see what it does. She's a flaming away. You can really see a flame coming out top there. Now, this might have to been set on another one, but that's what I set on. I'm going to see if I got it set right or not. When I hit this, it should put it out. You want to make sure when you hit that trigger, it does put it out. You pull that out. And it does go out, so. We're good. That's one thing you definitely want to check. Make sure that it does go out. I'll go ahead and, uh, a, I don't have a phone holder. Give me one second, I'll restart it. All right, we got to restart it. So everything's working good like it should. Now all we got to do is throw the old wick away. Grab the, uh, my can the canister and whatever you do, you don't want to, ever set this upside down or this way with fuel in it unless it's in there that's got a little valve on it we just gotta fix that dent which that dent might have been there i don't know we are up and running guys we're in Look at that flame coming out of the bad boy. I I know that's too high, guys. This wouldn't show it to you. What you can do is hit this little trigger. Make sure it's locked, because if you're not. I turned it down a good bit, so there it is. We'll let that run, see how good it works. Alright, if you like this uh, video of me changing the wick, or trying to, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down, at least watch one. Please subscribe, check out my channel. Check out the bus that we're building, me and some friends. And we're going to try to make this bus go out west. I'm going to work on these today too, I got them totes. I'm going to try to uh, go through some of this stuff and put it in the totes. But anyway, thanks for watching, and bye till later.